Hello guys, in today's video I want to share a simple and very profitable strategy. You guys understand this strategy with a little effort, by mastering this strategy, you won't need the other ones anymore. I will go through everything step by step and try to teach you each and every detail. So be sure to watch the whole video. First of all, open the trading view, and then select the Euro USD currency pair. Now I'll set my time to a 5 minute time frame for this strategy. But keep in mind that you can use this method on all time frames, and this strategy can be profitable on all of them. Now time to add indicators to our chart. In total, 3 free indicators are going to be used in this strategy. Let's get to applying the first indicator. So for this, we will open the indicator section for trading view. Then type our first indicator's name which is, Trader XO Macro Trend Scanner. We add this to the chart. The Trader XO indicator gives a very simple and clear buy and sell signal, that we're going to use them to trade. This indicator contains two moving average graphs. These two lines are here, the one at the top is the slow moving average graph, and the one below is the fast moving average graph. And indicators give signals when they cross each other. If the crossing is downward, then it will give us a bearish or sell signal. Or for example like here, if the crossing is upward, it will show a bullish or buy signal. Now, how do we trade using this indicator? As I told you, this is a simple trading indicator, which is very easy to use. And if you consider only two conditions, you can trade with this indicator alone. The two conditions are the appearance of a bearish or short signal, and a candlestick formed simultaneously with the signal being below the two lines. So whenever these conditions are met, you can enter the trade where the trigger candle is closed, and make a profit. You could have had an astounding profit from this trade. Also, for the buy signal, the conditions are exactly the opposite. If a bullish signal appears the long side of a candlestick, which is closed above both the moving average line, now all conditions are fulfilled. And we can enter the trade where the trade candle has been closed. And gain profit without any problem. Let me show you some more examples in different timeframes. To prove that this indicator is really precise and effective. Let's check out the 30 minutes time frame. Even in this time frame, the indicator has given us a sell signal, at the best point possible. If you would have entered the trade on this signal, you would have caught a huge market movement. We could have gained a lot of profit and had an amazing trade. Here we got a buy signal and the candlestick has been closed under the moving average lines. So we can enter the trade here, and open the long buying position where the candlesticks has been closed. We could have catch a very big movement of the market. This big movement of the market could have been snatched by using the buy signal. And we could have made a lot of profit for us just with the help of this indicator alone. But if we use this indicator alone, we could face some problems, same as the other indicators, that when the market enters the ranging zone, like here in this situation, we will get some fake signals. For instance, this signal here is fake, or this one over here, and also this one is fake as well. So let's know how to filter these fake signals. We need to add another indicator to chart. Open indicator option and type, MACD and apply the moving average convergence divergence indicator to your chart. Now, this is how the indicator looks and it contains some histograms, in a signal line, and a MACD line. So now we will change some setting of the indicator. First, in this style tab, we disable the MACD and the signal options. Because we do not need both of these in strategy. Next, we move to the input section, and from there we change the fast length option to 26, and the slow length to 100. So let's know, how to use this MACD indicator in this strategy. The MACD histogram is below the zero line, it means that we're currently at a downtrend movement, and we're allowed to enter only sell trades. And if the histogram is above the zero line, it tells us that we are as a uptrend movement, and we should enter only buy trade. Here we got a bullish or buy signal, we can see that the MACD histogram is above the zero line. So we're currently at a uptrend, and we are allowed to enter only by trades. So this signal is valid and we could have entered a trade using it. If we set the stop loss here, we would have made a lot of profit. Now let's move on to the next trade. See here we got a sell signal. We can see that the histogram is above the zero line. So we're currently at a upsending trend, and we are allowed to enter only sell trades. So that means we are at uptrend movement and, we are not allowed to enter a sell trade. So this signal here is fake, and we should ignore it and don't enter a trade. Now the next signal is buy or bullish, that has been given by the first indicator. Histogram is still above the zero line. So we are still at uptrend movement and we are allowed to open long buying positions. We could have gained profit from this trade as well. If we want to execute a best trade, 
then we have to execute our trade according to the momentum of the market. So for this we will add another indicator. Go to the indicators tab and search MA, and add the moving average exponential indicator to my chart. In the settings, I will change the length to 200, from 9. And change the moving average line's color to white. This moving average line actually shows us the direction of the market's trend. Suppose the price is above the moving average. This means the market is on an upward. And if the price is lower than the moving average line, it means that the trend of the market is downward. We can enter a sell trade, whenever a sell signal has been given by the first indicator, which is Trader XO. Here we got a sell signal and the second condition is the MACD histogram below the zero line. But now we got the third condition as well. That is the price lower than the moving average 200 line. Here our trigger candlestick has been closed exactly lower, the moving average 200 graph, so we are allowed to enter a sell trade. Now let's test a long trade and check out its conditions. To enter a buy trade, we have to get a long or bullish signal from the trader XO indicator that we have got it here. Next, the MACD histogram has got to be above the zero line. So the second condition is met as well. And for the third condition, our trigger candlestick should close above the moving average line, and this is true here, so we can enter a buy trade. So when you use this indicator in 5 minutes time frame, your stop loss will be very small. So it is possible that your stop loss gets hit because of too much spread. So for this, it is necessary that you use a zero spread broker. This is actually very important because, when you're scalping every single pitch counts. And if you're using a broker with a wide spread, you will have a hard time making a profit. So join the IC market, and enjoy zero spread, link in the description. Now that we've completely learned this strategy, I want to test it on the GBP USD chart, within the 15 minute time frame, and I want to see how much profit we could have made in this trades using this strategy. Here we have executed only 12 trades in the GBP USD chart, which we have profit of around 800%. If you want to see more videos like this then subscribe the channel.